Okay, so what are, what are we doing here? All right, let's get Wait. the BC on. Okay. Left arm in. Right arm in. Now turn around here. Let's get some air out of that BC, make it a little more comfortable. Okay. One way you can do it is pull on that knob right there, or you can push this button. I think that knob works a little bit easier. Pull on that. Push it in there. And sink down the water, let the, let the water pressure squeeze the air out of the BC. Okay. Good. Now, there's a couple of ways to blow the BC up. One way you can use your tank. That's easy. Anybody can do that. You just okay. have to push the red button. Okay. Perfect. The other way, if you push this and blow in there, you can blow the BC up with your mouth. Remember, you have to let go or the air comes right back out. Okay. So try that. Just push the button and blow into the BC. And that's Perfect. just there just to save air, correct? Right, exactly, just to save air. If you lean back, I think that BC is going to float you great. Oh, yeah. Feels good, Wayne. Are we done? Are we scuba diving? That's, we're, we're not scuba diving yet. We're okay. close, though. Okay. Hey, that's the easy part. The hard part is getting the air out of the BC. Okay. Like I said earlier, you can pull on that knob, but you need to lean this way so that the dump valve is at the highest point. Pull on that knob, sink down into water. It gets the air out fast, doesn't nice. it? Nice, yeah, it does. Perfect. Good deal, so you can blow it back up. Okay. All right, great. Let's put our mask on. Wayne, I'm a spitter, I have to confess. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right. You may want to turn around? I'll, I'll turn my back. All right. There we go. I'm not a spitter. I like to use somebody else's spit. There you go. It's a manufactured spit? A manufactured spit. Okay, we're going to have to stop right here. The snorkel's on the wrong side because your regulator comes over the right shoulder. Wayne's telling me I got my snorkel on the wrong side. You don't want to be on TV with it on the wrong side, okay? He's taking care of me. That's how we do it up in, uh, in, in our Orlando. area. Yeah, yeah it's in Orlando, Orlando thing. You, you put it on the wrong side. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How's that? That's perfect. Very good. Now, here's an important thing to know. You need to be able to reach back, grab that regulator hose, and pull it to you to be able to find your mouthpiece. Okay. Another way is to scoop your arm like that so okay. it comes up on the inside of your arm. You're going to basically put this in your mouth and start breathing. We're going to kneel down, and go underwater, and breathe. Here we go. This means, are you okay? The answer is yes, or you can flash the okay sign back at me, or you can shake your head no, at which point in time I'm gonna come over to you and we're gonna go up to the surface. Let's go up, let's go down. Um, are your ears okay? There's another question. If you tell me yes, they're okay, we're gonna keep going down. If you tell me no, that your ears aren't okay, we're gonna go up a little bit, they're gonna clear automatically, and we'll come back down doing something, pinching our nose and blowing gently. Another hand signal is if somebody comes up to you, signals you that they're out of air, they need to share air, they'll come over and grab your octopus, pull the octopus off, put it in their mouth and start breathing. You're going to be breathing off the black one. I'm going to be breathing off the yellow one. We'll make a lap around the pool and that's how easy it is to share someone's air.